Hello everyone, this is James and I wanted to show you uh, the brand new 3D engine in the 3D viewer and the upcoming release of my DMX 2.1. Uh, I'm just going to kind of give you, uh, turn the lights on, I'm just going to show you what I built here. I'm not going to really take the time to show you how I built it and stuff pretty straightforward um, give you a little little tour inside before I turn the lights on and stuff so uh, let's make this full screen and I mean you can see I've got a circle truss here with the stage drum set you know some more moving heads some park hands you know basic basic rig so if I um, double click or, no, I'm sorry, go, go to live view. Yeah. Now if I double click, it goes back and forth. So you can see you've got these views here. You've got your ambient loading setting. You have your beam setting and your fox setting. So this is what's new. Like this, the fox setting is going to allow you to see like if you had a haze machine with with some nice air movement going in the room you can see the fog move around it's uh... it's pretty cool so i'm just gonna show you what's up um, you can take you can, yes you you can now finally import 3d objects just by going to this little plus button here you know and just for you know, I'll add like a stick of truss click open uh, all my trials is going to be way down here. So I'm going to. You see these little arrows, you know, red, green, blue, stuff like that. You can even see this grid here. So um, you can click on these arrows and move the stuff around without having to go to that, without having to go to the XY grid and go use the scroll wheel, move it over. Also, what's cool is you see this grid here. Uh, we can choose to snap things to the grid or snap something to an object. So if I go snap to grid, next time I try to move this, it's gonna see how it just kind of snaps to that next point. So that's kind of cool. And then you can, you know, of course, rotate. Uh, then you can go into any view and be like, oh, I want to move this up here. And I want to move it back there. But I think I'm in the wrong spot. So I need to click here and move it over. You know, see how it lined up perfectly center with that, that center, of that, center of that grid right there. So, and as you go over, you'll get the grid for on top. And on the back. Uh, then on the side. You can see the grid. So, this is uh, this has been a long time coming, so it's pretty sweet. Um, but I don't need this. I already have my trials, so I'm just gonna delete it. I get a little pop-up window. Says yes, bye bye. Um, so that's just a really quick view. Also, what's cool is uh, you can zoom in and out on these to customize your view. You know, you can go like way close, like. Like I just went behind. I flipped it. <laughs> so if I'm like, man, I think if this is in the wrong spot, you can literally zoom all the way in and notch it over if you want. So that's cool. You can move move each one of these around however you see fit. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm gonna give you an example. Um, well, turn the lights down. Ooh, showtime! Come up a little bit. I go back, and I just made two scenes briefly. So, just kind of give you an idea on um, all the options and stuff. 
Not sure if you can see that, but you can see the fog moving around a little bit. So, and if if you try this on your computers, once you get this release, you can turn this down. Turn it all the way off. That way, you have a little bit of fog. Oh. So you see the difference all the way up versus off. You can see the fog move move through the air and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, or you can go to the settings here and best, medium, low, and just kind of mess around with stuff. So I'm gonna leave this like this. Should be pretty cool. I'm just gonna show you guys around. Let's turn the lights all the way off. So I've made I made a little sequence here. So yeah, it starts to slide on once you are uh, zero on a 27 inch monitor full screen with uh, Intel HD graphics. So. So let me show you guys what it looks like as you're programming. So let the editor scene pop it open. Got some inner pocket spots right here. So yeah, you get the point. Uh, just go to this. These are the Vizzy uh, Beam or Vizzy 16RX hybrids or whatever. These things are cool. I like playing with these things. Yeah, fun times. When you see that glare from the camera and stuff, it just looks so cool, you know. Uh, this, folks, is why I like gobo wheels or fixtures with two gobo wheels right here this is what um, 
got zoom on these things. So that's pretty cool. Let's turn on some pocans. hands. 